The Ballon d'Or is the most prestigious individual award in football. It was originally exclusively awarded to players of European origin playing in Europe before the eligibility rules changed in 1995. The voting process initially included only sports journalists, and that has been the case since 2016 after changing again. Before the process was altered in 2007 to include professional players and the captains and managers of national teams. With that in mind, here is a rundown of all the players to have won the Ballon d'Or sorted by position. Goalkeeper Lev Yashin stands alone, often considered to be one of the world's greatest goalkeepers. Lev Yashin is the only goalkeeper to have won the Ballon d'Or. Yashin was a revolutionary goalkeeper for the time, which is fitting considering that he played for the Soviet Union and he would often organize his defense in front of him. He also started the practice of coming off his line to meet crosses and he would rush out to meet on rushing attackers, which was virtually unheard of at the time. Yashin began playing for Dynamo Moscow in 1950 after he impressed for the football team at the factory he worked at. His career started slowly as he played understudy to another great Soviet goalkeeper, Alexei Komet. But Yashin also played for the Dynamo Moscow ice hockey team, helping the side win the 1952-53 Soviet Union Cup. He quit playing ice hockey after this season to focus on playing football and eventually became one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, helping Dynamo to win the USSR Championship five times and the Soviet Cup three times. He was also fairly successful at the international level, playing in three World Cups and winning the gold medal at the 1956 Summer Olympics. The most recent goalkeeper to be nominated for the award was Manuel Neuer in 2014 when he finished third. Defenders, Beckenbauer and Cannavaro in a league of their own. Take the number of goalkeepers who have won the Ballon d'Or doublet, and that is the number of defenders who have won the Ballon d'Or. Franz Beckenbauer was the first defender to win the award, doing so in 1972. Beckenbauer was also a revolutionary player in his position, as he came to define the sweeper role during his playing career. He would combine his defensive duties with offensive abilities, as his strong tackling and good reading of the game were equal to his long-range passing and marauding runs with the ball. At club level, Beckenbauer became a legend for Bayern Munich. They won the Bundesliga four times, the DFB Pokal four times, and the European Cup three times. Beckenbauer's contributions to his club's victory in 1972 and to Germany's triumph in that year's European Championship won him his first Ballon d'Or. He would win his second Ballon d'Or in 1976. Fabio Cannavaro is the second defender to win the Ballon d'Or. The Italian won the award in 2006 after winning the World Cup with Italy and being nicknamed the Berlin Wall. Italy kept five clean sheets and only conceded two goals in the entire tournament as Cannavaro captained Italy to victory. He was also a part of the 2005 to 2006 Juventus team that had finished first in Serie A that season, 15 points ahead of second place, and only conceding 24 goals. But they were relegated to Serie B amid the Calciopoli scandal. Midfielders Platini, Zidane, Modric, and many more. Not many midfielders have won the Ballon d'Or with the winners being a mix of more offensively-minded attacking midfielders and defensively-focused midfielders. The first was Joseph Masipist, a Czechoslovakian midfielder who spent the majority of his career at Dukla Prague. He won the award in 1962 after helping Czechoslovakia finish second in the 1962 World Cup, losing to Brazil who won their second title in a row. Pelé named him as one of the 125 greatest living players in 2004. France and Germany have both had two midfielders win at least one Ballon d'Or. France's winners possessed excellent attacking abilities and played with brilliant flair, whereas Germany's midfield winners were more defensively minded. Michel Platini and Zinedine Zidane both won the Ballon d'Or. Platini actually won the award three times and became the first football player to win the award three times in a row when he was presented with the accolade every year from 1983 to 1985. Zidane won the award in 1998 after he helped Juventus win Serie A and reach the Champions League final. He also played a pivotal role in France's World Cup triumph as he scored twice in the final. 
Lothar Matthaus and Matthias Sammer are the two German midfielders who have won the Ballon d'Or. Both could be deployed as defensive midfielders or sweepers, and both players won the award in the 1990s after captaining Germany to international triumphs. The midfield position, somewhat surprisingly, doesn't really have a bias towards attacking, central, or defensive midfielders. Kaka and Roberto Baggio are two more winners of the award and, whilst they were attacking midfielders during their careers, you can balance out their awards with Luka Modric's selection in 2018. Modric's winning the award that year was controversial, as many believed Lionel Messi deserved it, but Modric was central to Real Madrid and Croatia's triumphs that season. Rude Goulet also won the award in 1987, and Luis Suarez, a legendary Spanish footballer who played in the 1950s and 1960s, won the award in 1960. Rivaldo also won the award in 1999, and he is the only non-European midfielder to win the award. He is also one of just three players who are not originally from Europe to win the award. The most recent Ballon d'Or winner is Rodri, a rarity in that he is a defensive-minded player. Wingers Matthews the first, Messi the latest. The first ever winner of the Ballon d'Or was a winger. The legendary Stanley Matthews won the award whilst playing for Blackpool. The stoke on trent born magician was nicknamed the Wizard of Dribble and was one of the first real superstars of the game. He retired from football at the age of 50 playing for his hometown club, Stoke City. Wingers dominated the award in the 2010s and late 2000s, although it was only two players who contributed to this. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi, who are possibly better described as forwards but have been classified as wingers for the purposes of this article, won the award a total of 12 times between them during that time period. This was an unprecedented era of domination of the award, and it is likely that we won't see a phenomenon like that for a very long time. More traditional wide players, such as Pavel Nedved and Luis Figo, have also won the award. Nedved's win was another controversial one, as many believed, and still do believe that the award should have been given to Thierry Henry that year. More often that not in years gone by wingers would lose out to strikers. But this did not stop Johan Croy from winning three Ballon d'Ors, or Raymond Copa from winning the award in its infancy. Copa is also the name of another World Player of the Year trophy, and it has been given to the U21 version of the Ballon d'Or, which is known as the Copa Trophy. George Best also won the award in 1968, which solidified his credentials as one of the greatest wingers to have graced the game. He is the only player from the Island of Era to win the award.